I'm Yasuo. I'm on a boat. I'm Shinny. I'm also on a boat. Bam! And now we're with Wario. And we're also on a boat. Still on a boat. Alrighty, Wait, so... Wait, stop, stop, stop. Vivian's hand passes through Mario's ear. You see it? Yeah, I do. That's a little disturbing. <laughs> Alright. Anyway, we're Wario's clothes for now. We bought that badge earlier from that one item guy. Yeah. In the middle of the road place. It's a huge mustache. Yeah. So... Why don't people go for his mustache? Yeah. Ours is a measly mustache. His is a grand mustache. All right. But whatever, people love our mustache, and that's fine. So, all this boat suddenly showed up. Grand pretty bunch awesome. of cargo and stuff. Yeah. So, frankly told us to go um, talk to these yeah. people. See that ship docked there? She belongs to Flavio, the merchant trader. He don't sail all too often, though. Mostly hangs around father's joint in the platoon. Plaza. Oi, yeah. you with the mustache. What's with the stink guy, eh? You got something to say? Right, then ask me anything. I'm like an encyclopedia, I am. I can answer anything. Yes, I can, sir. Got some advice, Bomb Bomb. Mm, oh, key hall key. Listen, mate. I don't ask about that place. Ask me anything. Don't ask about that. <laughs> nah. I got no need for a curse from the Pirate King. Thanks. Pirate King. That's awesome. No matter how much you work, life never gets any easier for me. Know what I mean? That's Italian. Whatever. That's the... No. He's going to be a main player in the next chapter, so... Ah, fine. Fix it. Fine. All right. What do you want? What do you want me to do with it? No matter how much I work, life ain't getting ever easier for me. You know what I mean? Isn't he your character actually? Is he mine? Like, like we're switching no, off. No, Flavio's mine. And these guys, Flavio and him, talk to talk to each other. Then. Okay, whatever. So try again. All right. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Your best pirate ish. No matter how much I work, life never gets any easier for me. You know what I mean? That's good enough. There's got to be a way to get poof and get rich, you know? Poof! Bomb! Yeah. Alright, I'll little, probably change his voice. Kid. Okay, okay! That's a cursed island! Don't get mixed up with that place for your own sake! <laughs> key hall key? You mean the island with the treasure hoard of Cortez the Pirate King is in? So, you want treasure, eh? Fine, but keep an eye out for the pirate curse, getcha? What? Key all key? Yeah, that place is absolutely awful, I've ever heard. Not long ago, ship after ship went there hunting treasure, but never even returned. I bet they met the bad end with the Pirate King's Curse. Those guys were dumb. You're dumb. Oh, oh whoops. <laughs> Pirate. Well, you get like a sort of like an English or Scottish accent. Yeah. Maybe? Okay. Somewhat, but not too bad. It's also going to be a little gruff, you know? Yeah. Boy, the Pirate King, eh? Oh, the Pirate King. All right, um, right. <laughs> All right. Oh, there's Luigi with his latest partner. Mm. Anyway, here's Flavio. I was being I like him. that. I like that. Oh, what's the... Vivian, what are you doing? Vivian. It's like when the <laughs> diggle you fly. Vivian, you're go home. You're drunk. So basically, yeah, I was Flavio. I was singing as him earlier. Yeah. Oh, man. You forgot his voice, didn't you? Yeah. It was, it was just basically a regular voice, actually, but a little bit deeper. Trying to remember. What do you want, huh? Who, me, you ask about? Ah, I'm called Flavio. I heard something like, I'm called Flavio. Something like that, maybe? I think he's Italian. He's not. You do the Italian. But like, 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 sort of like Ezio from, like, Assassin's Creed. I don't know what he sounds like. Oh, that's right. I actually never played the game, I don't but play whatever. Xbox. Yep, that's right. Nintendo Name's GameCube, man. Play the GameCube. Yeah. Nintendo Full Cure. Anyways. But, uh, I'm uh, called Flavio. I'll look up his voice after this video. I am, how you say, a traitor, the richest man in Rogue Poor. Monetary wealth gives me freedom, yes, and freedom gives me wealth of spirit. And yet, why is a man with whose life, unchained, must always long for yet more, huh? What is missing from my life? This tears up my very insides. I must know, what do I lack? Romance, definitely. I'd say emotion. Probably thrills. Money, maybe? I'd say probably thrills. Yeah, he's got all that stuff. And I just need the excitement, you know? Thrills, you say? Ah, I suppose one does need some thrills every now and then. There's nothing like the feeling of being alone on a mountain, shivering to death. Ah, no, foolish Flavio. Flavio, not chills, you silly man. What I need are thrills. <laughs> Wait, hold the horses. That's it. Well, thanks. Now that I am thinking of it, I heard that the pirate treasure of Cortez, the pirate king. Yes, this is the answer. Oh, such happiness for me. A hunt for the pirate treasure. Why, that just shrieks of romance and thrills and the emotion and even money. I can't do that rolling thing with the tongue, so... You can't? Like, no, I can't. Really? Uh, I can't do it. 
Romance. Romance. That's about as best as you can do it. You're awful. You'd never be a platypus. Do what? not, you know, try <laughs> making the Perry the platypus noise. What? Sorry, not a Disney, like, not a modern Disney person either. Oh, Not okay. a TV person in general. That's true. But you gotta, like, be able to, like, roll the back of your mouth. <laughs> okay. Do you not know the tale of the Pirates King's treasure hid on Key Key? That's what we're asking you. Ah. Well, the tales say that the Pirate King, Cortez, hid his horde of pirate booty there. All right. Some of that pirate booty. Pretty since, you know... Well, at least he's telling us stuff. For years, the treasure hunters and ruffians have gone there in search of the loot. But not a single one of them has returned. Oh, the horror makes my back tingle. His back. Yeah. You'd say <laughs> shivers up your spine, not a tingling back. People here whisper that the ghost of Cortez attacks all who treat his treasure. Yeek. It is because of those very rumors that people no longer go there. But that will not stop Flavio. That treasure is there, yes, and I'm going there to prove it. I am Flavio, traitor, extraordinaire, millionaire, silly of the seven seas. Sinbad. Bowser Don... What? Sinbad. Oh, yeah. I was going to say, um... What were you going to say, Miyasa? Forgot his name. Never mind, then. Captain? No. No. Nope. No. He just wants to drink rum and, shell and sail a ship. Yeah. I don't know. If I, if, I had, if I lived a life like that, it wouldn't be too bad. Yeah. Come on, the ship's name is the Black Pearl. Yeah, That's right? an awesome name. Anyways, enough of the rumbling. We're talking yeah. to talk about the game. Pirates, yeah. What is that you are saying? You also looking for a treasure? You're in Rogueport? Robert Downey Jr., that's what I was saying. Basically, he's like, you know, billionaire, playboy, philanthropist. Iron Man. Yeah. Yeah. Why talk such craziness? There isn't anything like this in the dull armpit of a town. Dull armpit of a town. You cannot be believing in a stupid rumor about treasure that some street urchin spews out. No, 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 no! No, 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 no! What madness comes bursting from your mouth? You have a treasure map? Hey, hey, oh, well, I have an idea, I have an idea. Hand it over. Rather, I mean, show me. <laughs> What's your idea? Like, what if you made him, like, a little bit, like, campy? Doesn't he look like it? Alright, give me some, read this one. I don't know, hold on. You are having a joke on me, that map leads straight to Key Hall Key. Sounds a lot like Flurry. Maybe you're Flurry. That's what camp is, you know? No? Like, alright, alright. Think Pegasus from the English dub of Yu-Gi-Oh. That's basically Flurry as a male. Now that you think about it, yeah, you're right. Alright, continuing. <laughs> <laughs> you're having a joke on me. This map's late straight to the key hall key. You swine, you mean to steal my treasure out from under me, you awful, awful man. <laughs> he talks, nope. she, he sort of talks like Flurry, actually. It would still work. A little, but... Nah, I just can't can't pull myself. I hate Flurry's voice. Well, now That's I'm, your voice. I know. No, no, I hate how I have to do Flurry's voice. <laughs> well, now I am confused. You are looking for these things known as the Crystal Stars. Oh, yeah. But now that I am thinking, now I was a thinking, methinks, a star-shaped stone <laughs> was said to be in Cortez's hoard. Perhaps I should sell it for a staggering amount of cash. Yes, that would be. Ah, stop such thoughts, Flavio. What you need is romance, thrills, emotions. Romance. I cannot ignore that this business before me suggests this must be fate at work. Flavio shall go with you to Key Hall Key. Yes, of course. The Crystal Star is yours, yes. But the rest of the treasure is mine. Thanks. Good deal. Nice guy, actually. Huh, you must repeat that? Flavio's ears are plugged with purple hair. You have no ship? Ha 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 ha. You poor unfortunate soul. Do you not know who I am? I have a ship and ready in no time, and it'll be massive and glorious. I think we've been on your ship, man. Splendid, splendid, splendid. We could have stolen a ship. Yeah, we could have. Let's begin preparations immediately, shall we? I volunteer myself as our intrep intrepid. Intrepid. What does that mean? Um, entrepreneuring, sort of like that. Okay. Boldish, you know. And we'll be the captain. Danger and adventure tickle my nostrils. Come to the harbor this right away. You're here tickling your brain. Can't get over that line. What on earth was he talking about? What's Bowser. in your hair? Why is it tickling your brain? I guess old people have that. Questions, questions, questions. No answers. Nobody gives him an answer. We give our answers to our answers. <laughs> Chapter 3. Referencing old videos. Have we really gotten to that point? No. No, we haven't. Still five subscribers. I'm oh, so sad. Everybody move! Whoa. Man, wow. they're quick. Wait. Big... Who are you? Well, please to meet up. Uh, <clears throat> your acquaintance. 
<laughs> That's great. I wonder what Gunville has to say about this chump. Who's like, um, they uh, call this guy obviously. Four Eyes. Uh, he's one of the sailors coming to the key, key. I totally feel like I've seen him somewhere, though. You know, I'm just going nuts. Maybe he's like Team Rocket. <laughs> they have like the stupidest disguises, but it always fools everyone. Yep. There was one where like like um, James had like a fake breast and stuff. Yeah. But they cut that out. There from was the one version. where they actually they all had mustaches and that was it. Yeah. Right. Uh. Good old Pokemon. Uh, ah yes. We'll do one of those next. What? Maybe we'll do one of those. It's really hard to do, but maybe we will. Pokemon games. Yeah. <gasps> Unless it's Pokemon Coliseum or XD Gale of Darkness. Yeah, Those that's got story. That's story. Yeah. Man, all right, guys. All right. The few of you that are there, we're thinking of a couple things. Of a couple things. Um, Slender, Pokemon Coliseum. Kirby 64. Yep. Those this, are this is going to go by pretty fast. We've actually re recorded Chapter 4 in a day, and now we're working on this in the same day. Yeah. This is going to go by pretty fast, so uh, please tell us in the comments. Um, the few of you that are actually there. Yep, which one do you like to see? Ah, uh, yes, so it is you, ah. Huh? Well, sadly, a slight problem has seemed to have popped up. But feast your eyes on this outrageously fantastic ship. She's a fine vessel, no? She is the SS Flavion. I like that name. Yeah. The Flavion. queen of the countless ships in my personal fleet. This guy's rich. The raw majesty of her hull, the pomp and circumstance, no one can compare to her. Ah, behold the elegant curve of her prow. She cuts to the very soul. Don't you agree? Well, suck up your soul, New York! <laughs> <laughs> Alright. But she's not uh, just a beauty. She's a savage beast on the water. Tops among sailboats. But above all, I can tell you this proud ship can... What? Hey, hey, what? What did he say? I thought he was... This proud ship can... He doesn't say anything. Go go press C. Tell, it check it doesn't. Out. Like, it was... We... Whatever. You can't press right, C? So there's... No, like, it doesn't... Like, he, we started a new chat bubble. Oh, whoops. Alright, I'm tired of reading this guy's voice. Alright, let's do Bridget. Navigator ran off. Navigator, highest rank, they steer ships. Here's a real problem. Water's key hold dangerous. We have other skilled helps then. We need Navigator. Pickle. Oi, Flavia. There you go. Heard you talking there, sir. If you don't mind me saying, I might have a solution. Do not tease me, Papatch. Papatch. You can s yeah. <laughs> you can solve our problem and spit it out already. Well, sir, I'll talk about a faint. No, a legendary style living Rick Point. Yeah, I think he's called Admiral Bovary, a salty old sea dog by all accounts. That's a brilliant voice there. Thanks. But, he's said to have uh, elms, and, elms and in touch, sir. He can make any ship bow to his will. The thing is, there ain't a soul what's seen him in the seas of late. Boss a boom! Problem solved. Let us scout up Bovary, follow him, and get on aboard. See, I give him a normal voice because he has no, like, apostrophes like a pirate voice. They want me to read it like this. It's true. But mm. Patch has a pirate voice. Because of the av and yeah. lots and stuff. See, because, like, you say it, you read it, and that's, like, the kind of voice you're supposed to have. Like, you see it, and, like, oh, that is how his voice is supposed to go. Yep. Flavio is just sort of ambiguous. Hey, we have the shop owner. <laughs> up in the top left. I saw that. What's going on? As in customary, my captain will handle all negotiation. That... Oh, that would be you, Mario. Or Wario, that, as the captain's. Yeah, that does sound fair to everyone else, does it not? Yeah, full complaints. Aye, aye, sir. Aye, aye, aye. Sounds fair, sir. Good plan. I'm on board. No, you're not on board. Did he you say are. that? Yeah, the guy that's not on board is on board. That's funny. Then it's decided. You must find this bobbery and bring him here. Our fortune sails with you. I like that. Entrepreneur Flavio, super rich, owns a lot of ships. I don't know for sure, but it looks like this ship is his favorite. I think it's my favorite too. I like Look at those ship. colors. They're kind of blinding. They are. You guys probably can't see it, but on our screen, it's a blinding blue. Yeah, like this TV screen is like certainly, you know, made for like, you know, bursting things a little bit brighter. Into your face. Yeah. Hey, you like that blue? At 90 miles per hour. You like that blue? Blue! Mm hmm. It's kind of ridiculous, actually. Yeah, with the pinks and blues and all the other bright colors. Mm -hmm. Greens! The greens, the ow. Greens. And the reds. Greens and reds really hurt. And the blues. It's all the primary colors. It's all the primary colors that hurt right now. Yeah. Hey, how'd you get over here? But the other day, I saw this guy jumping from roof to roof. Man, he was so dashing. But you know, actually, he might have been abandoned. Maybe that's why he was sneaking into chimneys. Oh, thanks for the tip, pal. Santa? No. What are you doing in Rogueport? Sneaking into chimneys. 
climbing in your windows. Oh no! Holy crap! I can't believe that actually did that. That's pretty cool. They actually applied the physics right there. Physics don't apply anywhere else except here. Sneaking into chimneys. Is that you or what? Yeah. What you blokes want? You're seeking Admiral Bobbery. Yeah, we are. Come on, Shane. You've never even played this game. What do you think? What do you mean? Does he look like Admiral Bobbery? Well, it's considering he's got a steering wheel on the back of his head. And he's got an Admiral cap. And he's got a really cool mustache. And he's a bomb. Yeah, I'd say he's Bobbery. Never heard of the gent. Take a search elsewhere. Now away with you. Nope, we're going to your private quarters instead. Stealing your shines. We need that stuff. We're on a quest. Not a bad place this guy here. But that's really cool, collecting not the shine sprite, but the box it came in. Yep. If I could do that, I would just litter my house with those. Yeah. Well, he's got a lot of sailing stuff, so... Well, no Admiral Barbary here. Or so we think. Or so we can make him come with us. Well, yeah. Alright, come with us or I'll light your fuse. Oh, no, I... I uh, fuck. You know, what can he do? He's got no arms. <laughs> he could, like, sit on it. His fuse is, like, up on his head. He could head if he, if he sits, okay, he will just, like, move his feet towards the front of his body. He could roll around. Stop, drop, and roll, man. You found someone who's matched his Bobber's description, but claims he is not him. Strange. I have someone who's knowledgeable about this, the neighborhood about this. All right, at this point in the game, it would really suck. Like, I think Professor Frankly can tell you maybe some more, but other than that, you'd have to figure it out yourself. Well, we were just derping around, and Miyaso managed to show me a certain person who seems to know a lot about the ongoings of the Rogueport. Who's that? Oh, that guy on the top right of the roofs. Oh. Left, top left of the roofs. Nah, he just knows history. Ah, that was too bad. The actual person you need to talk to is this guy. What? Yeah. The barkeep. Makes okay. sense. Barkeeps are supposed yeah. to know stuff. Um. Whose voice is was this anyway? I have no idea. We should have really watched the first video we made. Yeah, this is true. Let's trade off. Yeah, I think it's your turn. All right, sure. I read Bobbery and the other guy. Yeah. Admiral Bobbery. Yeah, I, I, I know him. Yeah. You know that house is just past the wall in the eastern part of town. That's his. But I think both of you and he would be better off if you just let him be. Yeah, this is my barkeep. Yeah, this is Admiral Bobbery. <laughs> yes, yes. Okay. I have a mustache. Now I'm a game in mustache. What is this? All right. Now I'm a bit confused. That's who you're supposed to talk to. Why didn't it work? Maybe you need to talk to Admiral Bobbery again? That's what I'm thinking. Sorry for a bit of confusion here. Like, we're not doing really anything, actually. <laughs> we're just talking about pirate accents and... Captain Jack Sparrow. And we're just rambling on. I haven't the faintest idea of what you're talking about. Now, if you please. Drop the axe, Superstash. We already found out you're Admiral Bobbery. Harum! What poppycock? Tell me. What would you want with me if I were this chap? Raise hand. You say your ship needs a navigator, and you want me to do the job, hmm? So sorry, but you'll have to look elsewhere. I shall never set upon the sea. Never more. Quote the raven. But that's just not cool. You want to see me beg or something? Is that it? You have to come along. Only you can get us safely to Key Hall Key. Awful sorry, dear boy, but when I say no, what I mean is no. No. I shall, I shall set upon the sea, nevermore. Away with you. Quoth the raven. Gosh dang it. Quoth the bobbery, nevermore. Who's walked right through us? Yep. What's the, what's the next move, chief? The salty dude is going nowhere fast. Hmm. I can't figure this guy out. What's his beef with the ocean anyway? Now all you ought to do, go find someone who knows what this dude's deal is. Yep, and that would be the podly guy again. Well, this actually, I think... Didn't think it would take this long, actually. Yeah, we were trying to get this all like done in one video, you know. It'll just be what? What the heck am I doing? What are you doing? Sorry, guys, it's two in the morning. It actually is. That would explain it. Why well, I'm like drawing so many blanks here. Whatever. You guys just sit around with your chips and ice cream and enjoy. Chips and ice cream. Yeah, that's what I eat whenever I watch Let's Plays. Hmm. <laughs> now you know. You're gonna say Bobbery won't go to the sea, huh? Well, I can't say that surprises me. The real question is, are you folks really sure you want to bobby back on the water? 
<laughs> yeah. What was that in? Oh, no, I see. You want to mount an expedition to Keyhole? Key there are rough seas out there. Most sailors would meet their ends. Not a Bobbery, though. He knows stuff. Well, the fact of the matter is, and the Bobbery's tale is sad. Horribly sad, actually. If you've played Mario Superstar Saga, you'd notice, like, this guy is probably from the Bean Kingdom. Yeah, the Bean Bean Kingdom. That was my game, bro. Yeah. <laughs> You'll probably end up crying, but I'll tell it to you if you really want me to. Please do. I can take it. No, I hate sad stories. I hate sad stories, but I can sad take it. Sad stories, yeah. Both I can of them take at it. the same time. Now what are you going to do, Podly? In that case, get ready. Bobbery's tale of well goes something like this. Zooms in. Bobbery was once married. He had a wife of enduring beauty named Scarlet. The two of them were madly in love, the sort of love reserved for fairy tales. Now, Bobbery was a renowned sailor, so he was away from home for long periods. Scarlet never complained, though, and was always waited faithfully for Bobbery's return. And Bobbery, his eye never drifted, he loved only Scarlet, truly and deeply. So they lived and found happiness where they could, and all was good, for a time. Good and good. For a time. Turn. Gaze not drifted. all good things can last. It was a particularly icy winter when it happened. Scarlet fell ill. A virus? A passing cold? No one knew, but it soon turned serious. Bobbery, at sea on a long, lonely voyage, knew nothing of his bride's suffering. By the time he returned, Scarlet had succumbed. She was gone. Bobbery, of course, blamed himself. My loving wife perished because of me. If I were not at sea, I could have nursed her to health. I could have saved her. He was overcome with such thoughts. He's not- Mario's not sleeping this time. Yeah. He usually sleeps during this, like, babbling. Mm -hmm. Good for you, Mario. They tormented him always, haunting his sleep. He has never gone out to sea since. Gee, what a downer. I guess that's a pretty good reason for hating the ocean. I'd say it is. Yeah. You all know this tale now, so tell me, do you still want him to return to the sea? Yeah, we got no choice. No, he's suffered enough. We don't have a choice. Very well, I understand. If you're that determined, I'll give you this. Zoom down, zoom up. You got an old letter! Scarlet wrote on to Bobbery on her deathbed. Why didn't uh, Miss the yep. Mr. Gibbon? Yep. I hate you. Yep. You've got a you got a you got a sad story, but basically in Jugger Conroy's video, he called him a freaking asshole. Yeah. He said, sorry about the language, but basically this is what he is. Yeah. On her deathbed, Scott wrote to Bobbery a final letter. You hold it in your hands. I don't know what's written inside, but I can tell you what she told me as she lay dying. If I should succumb to this plague, and if my love should blame himself for my death, then give this letter to him <laughs> so he may hear my voice. It was a last request. And I'm not going to refill it. Oh, gosh. Yeah. What a jerk. I kind of want to just break this glass. Break all the glasses. Maybe, 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 maybe. He was saving it just in case there was that one time where somebody really, really, really needed him to go out to sea. I'd be pretty upset if that was my wife and she gave me a letter and I'm like, oh, I'm suffering. And he's just like, here, this could make you better, but nah, suffer. Maybe. No, okay, okay. It seems that, like, it's a recurring theme that the old people are like, ridiculous like mr frank like the professor frankly can like time stop and yeah tell he's got teleconnect powers and maybe this old guy knew that we needed him at one point hmm maybe barkeepers do have some wisdom about them he knew guys oh here we go he's trying to um explain himself ah but when i saw bobber in misery trying to forget the pain as he mourned his wife i just couldn't bring myself to present the letter to him i forget it did ever since now it's too late, maybe? Yeah. Please. I take this letter and do the deed I was too cowardly to do. Take it to Bobbery. At least he calls himself a coward. Yeah. Listen, Polly. Thanks for time. We'll deliver this thing. You feel better, okay? Let's roll, Gonzalez. He still calls us Gonzalez. I love it. Uh-huh. That's like his little pet name now. Yeah. Right, so. That was a pretty heart-wrenching story. Indeed. Well, we are rolling at around 25 minutes, but it's not over yet, folks. We gotta yeah. get Bobbery on our team. And actually start, like, the, uh, chapter. Oh, what? Oh, by Blabbery, Blabberton's build. Build. <sighs> Blabberton's beard. Not you again. No matter how many times you entreat me, my stance is firm. Now away with you. Spin. Here's a letter. Spin. Letter! A pardon? A letter, you say? For me? 
What? Scarlet! This is Scarlet's handwriting. Love they play this little music here. Scarlet. What? What? No, no. He's actually talking to the letter right now. Oh. Scarlet, my love. Here we go. My love, if you're reading this letter, then I am no longer by your side. Because fate has stepped between us, I have decided to write you this letter. If you're reading this, I must have passed away while you were out at sea. I can only assume that you will blame yourself for it, my sweet Bobbery. She knows. Although my life was short, you gave me more than a lifetime's worth of joy. Though you will mourn, I beg you to remember that time like love is a tide. You are one with the sea, as you were one with me. Do not lose both of your life's loves. Ow. Wow. Time like love is a tide. You are only one with the sea, as you were one with me. Uh, a thousand pardons, but may I have a moment alone, if you please? I'll give it to you, man. Take all the moments you need, man. Screw our love. Oh, God. That was... That was beautiful. That was, that was actually really well written. It was. For, like, a kid's game. Man. Yeah. Not to mention the music. Yes, love. I was happy, my sweet, sweet Scarlet. I love you still. Feeling better, man? Now then, you're looking for a navigator, I believe. Bound for Key Hall Key. Yes. A rump! If you think an old sea bomb like me is what you need, then let's shove off. Admiral Bobbery! Yes! All right. Yes. Check this out. That's amazing. <laughs> All right, in the next episode, <laughs> enjoy our long ramblings and whatnot. In this episode, I'm Yasso. I'm Shinny. See ya.